welcome to kind of like I guess a knitting slash reading slash just overall cozy blog. Um, this week I'm really hoping to finish a few books and finish a pair of socks because I've kind of lost my knitting mojo these last few weeks and I really haven't worked on anything. Um, so I really want to finish a pair of socks. That is my goal. We're gonna do it. Um, so I figured I would take you guys along with me. I am actually going to my friend's house, which is really nice. I haven't seen them in quite a long time. So I'm really excited to go. Obviously I'm gonna bring my knitting and hopefully get some knitting done there. I'm almost done with my first Zelda sock. I just have to finish the ribbing and cast off. So I'm hoping to do that before I leave today and then I'm hoping to cast on the second sock. That way when I'm there, I can kind of just uh, knit the leg. Well, I guess the foot and hopefully get to the heel. That's my goal. So we're gonna work on that today. And then um, yesterday I ended up going to the bookstore um, and I got a few books. I got volume two of Those Not So Sweet Boys. I really enjoyed volume one. So I really wanted to get volume two and continue on with the series. I just like really like the art in it. And it's just like a really nice like slice of life slash romance series. So I'm really excited to read this. And then I also added to my Junji Ito collection and got Remina. Um, it kind of seems like more of a sci-fi horror. So I'm excited to read this too. And as always, I just, I always love his work. So I'm really excited to read this as well. Back and forth between this one and another one, but ultimately um, decided on this one. So really excited to read that. However, before I read those, I'm going to finish reading my current book, which is Castle in the Clouds. I don't have the book cover on. I always take them off, but it's super cute. I normally only buy like my novels from thrift stores or I get them from the library. I always get like my manga. I actually buy my manga um, just because they're hard to find at thrift stores or the library. But this book I actually got for $2.99. And it is so cute. It kind of reminds me of like a Studio Ghibli film a little bit, just like because of the characters and the story. I'm currently about halfway through um, and I'm really enjoying it. It's just like a nice cozy read. So I'm hoping to finish this this week and start one of my manga that I got. And that's the plan.
I got a peach. Chris got me. <laughs> I just love it. Okay. In my sock progress that I did today. Oh, that's cute. It's what my Zelda sock. Oh, okay. And then this one's Link. I've seen the Link yarn. I love that. It's so much like, because the pictures are so cute, but it's so much nicer when you see it in person. I know. It's been like a few days since I did an update on my reading, but I recently finished Castle in the Clouds. It was so cute. Um, I really enjoyed it. It's basically about this little woman named Sophie, and she's an intern at a hotel called the Castle in the Clouds. It's like located somewhere in the Swiss Alps, I guess, but it basically takes you on her adventures as an intern in this hotel, um, her relationships with the guests and the staff members. There's a cute little love triangle, which I'm all about. Um, and I was very surprised that the book kind of had like a little twist at the end. Um, I really wasn't expecting it. So that was really fun. Uh, honestly, like if you're just looking for a cute and cozy book to read, I definitely recommend this. I ended up giving it three stars on Goodreads, but I probably would have given it 3.5 if they had um, like half ratings, but they don't. So I gave it a three, um, but if you're looking for like a really cute, quick read, this one is really good. Um, but I highly recommend reading it in the winter when you have some snow falling outside and a nice little cup of tea because it just, that's the vibe of the book. So <laughs> definitely recommend it. And then I started reading The E-Myth, which is just like a small business book. Probably will not talk much about this just because it's very boring to everyone except me. So, but this one, I'm only on page 18. So this is my current read. But I think today I'm going to start this manga. I got actually pretty far. <laughs> um, I ended up getting basically the heel done the other day. And now I'm on the leg and I basically have maybe four um, rows of color left and then I can start the ribbing of my sock. So honestly, I'm hoping to finish this today. We'll see, I'm not really sure. <laughs>
um, it's Sunday morning and I stayed up way too late last night um, basically finishing this. I read this in one sitting. It was so good. I expected nothing less. This is my third Junji Ito book that I've read and I just love all of them that I've read so far so highly recommend and this is my first official finished read in April so that's exciting. I unfortunately did not finish my sock but I got up to starting the ribbing. Basically just have to do the two blue stripes and then cast off so this will basically be done today. I just didn't finish it yesterday. Since it's Sunday, I'm going to end this vlog, but I really appreciate everyone watching. Um, and I hope to do more of these like reading, knitting vlogs because I think that they're fun. So let me know down below what you're reading and knitting on and I will see you next time. Bye!